Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayana. I am a licensed massage therapist, esthetician, and spa owner. And in this video, it is a very impromptu video. I went on my Instagram the other day and I said I had a message for anyone who is a massage therapist, esthetician, or anyone in the beauty or spa industry because I had a message for you and you all told me to just put it on YouTube. So that's what I'm doing. So I just want to start by saying that over the past week, I've spent about $500 on my self-care and on beauty services. So I'm talking about having a 90 minute massage. I got my toes done. I got my nails done. I had a wax. I, I wish that I could say that I had my um, hair done, <laughs> but I'm still waiting on that. That's going to be another $100. Um, I still have to get my eyebrows done. And I don't get my lashes done, but when I used to get my lashes done, it would be like $100 to get my lashes done. And that's about it for me. And then I do see a personal trainer, that's like $600 a month. So <laughs> with all that said, I spent all that money on my self care. And I do understand that it is a privilege to be able to spend that on my self care. And not everyone has the resources to do that. I do understand that. But also I like to think in, an abundance mindset so I it had me thinking like okay if I'm doing that there are plenty of people in the world who make more money than me who have a higher income than me who are in maybe better situations than me whatever who are spending probably twice or triple that much on their self-care maybe they get you know their teeth whitened or they get body contouring services and all that stuff and even it had me thinking, like, even with my clients, I've had clients who will spend a thousand dollars a month with us just so that they can keep the results, especially after surgery, because that's what I do. I do post-op lymphatic drainage massage, but just to stay up on their self-care, stay up on their health care, because remember, we're in the healthcare profession. And yeah, so it's just I, I just feel like there's so much for us. And I feel inspired to talk about this because Sometimes I get messages and I get the sense that you're looking for permission. Like you're looking for permission from me or from others or from your family to start your business or to get into this industry. And you don't need anyone's permission. You don't need anyone's permission at all. Like this is a billion dollar industry. Like the spa industry globally is a billion dollar industry with, with, with a capital B, like the big B. <laughs> So, and there's growth every single year. Like it just goes up every single year, even after the pandemic, the spa industry and the beauty industry, which is also a billion dollar industry and massage in the U S is a, I think that's a million dollar industry. It's not a billion dollar industry, but regardless, like the beauty massage and, um, the spa industry all together, that's a billion dollar industry. So there is so much room for all of us. There's so much room for all of us to grow. So what makes you think that you're not able to have a piece of that? And I feel like I'm I'm changing my tone a little bit because I I think I'm just tired of the excuses. Like I totally understand that everyone has situations and it may feel like your circumstances are insurmountable. But I just feel like there's been so many different examples of people who are able to take whatever life has handed to them and overcome it because they're consistent. Like they put in consistent work. Notice I didn't say hard work. They put in consistent work towards their goal. And it doesn't have to be having like a, a spa company or anything like that. It could just be like your solo practice. It could just be you want to do lashes. You want to do body contouring. Like all of that stuff is possible. And I just think that people give up too soon. And I know that for a fact because I did that. And I've seen other people do that. And I know it's I know it's a mindset thing and it's more than just a mindset thing. We can't blame everything on our mindsets. <laughs> and we can't give credit only to our mindset. But it's also like literally what are you doing every single day to change your life or to uh, meet your goals. And this is just something that I've been thinking about a lot. And I think that all of you should be thinking about this too. Like, are you actually like, if you look at your, everything that you do in a day or everything that you do in a week, are you actually progressing with your goals with the thing that you said that you wanted to do? 
because you don't need permission. I think a lot of you are really looking for permission. Like asking yourself, you know, can I be successful at this? The answer is always yes if you're able to put in work because I really do feel like there's just enough for all of us to thrive. And I, I definitely feel inspired to talk about this because I work with other massage therapists. I work with massage businesses and I've worked with people who are new moms. I work with people who are students who are like still in school or maybe they're doing something else in school or they still have like their part-time job um, at a spa or at whatever, wherever they work at. And they have all these other obstacles, but the ones who like see the bigger picture, who see the bigger pictures of, of what they actually want out of life, they're able to look at their obstacles and figure out solutions, like figure out um, how to schedule their day or figure out like what their plan is and they take time to rest. That's another thing. Like when I think about the people that I've helped and the people that I've worked with, one of the things that helps them become successful are the, are the ones who are able to take time off or the ones who are able to rest, knowing that that rest isn't going to get them off track, but it's just going to recharge them. So I just think that we have to reframe like what we think is possible in this industry because I don't know, there's just so much information out there. And even when I was starting my business or even when I was in massage school, there was hardly any information about business or about strategy. Yes, there was like a lot of tutorials on how you can do deep tissue or how you can work the the glutes or, you know, the quads or whatever, but there wasn't a lot of business strategy out there. And so I genuinely hope that you all are able to take something from some of the content that I put out there and really absorb it. But also not only that, but after you're done watching a video, actually do something, like actually implement something, actually do some action steps and ask yourself, like, do you want this? And if you don't, that's okay too. You can still be successful even if you don't have a business. You can be successful working at a spa. I want to reframe that narrative too. You can be successful working at a spa. I know plenty of massage therapists who are more than comfortable, more than happy working at a spa, especially if that spa respects them and respects their time and, you know, pays them decent, you know? But I also want y'all to think bigger too because that's not all there is. There is this other world out there where you can start your business and you can be consistent and you can pay yourself like imagine that like paying yourself so i just want to motivate y'all i'm not here to step on anyone's neck that's not really my style even though some people respond well to that <laughs> some people respond really well to that and if you need more help or if you actually want to implement something um as i'm filming this video i am hosting a a four-day training a four-day training where i'm with you every single day you have homework every single day i expect you to implement the steps every single day so that you can build your business for 2023 and i will leave whatever links you know in the uh, description box below but i just want y'all to be thinking about this like thinking bigger because if we can uplift ourselves in this community and in, in our industry then i think other people will respect us too like i i've never really told anyone this but when i was in massage school Every, well, actually, I did make a post about this on Instagram one time, but I didn't go in depth about it. But when I was in massage school, sometimes I'd feel embarrassed <laughs> to tell people that I was in massage school or what I was doing for a living because I always got the sense that people didn't think it was serious or people didn't think it was legitimate because of the perception that there is about body workers and about um, massage therapists or people in the spa industry. Like people think it's just like happy endings or like where masseuse or that we're not like actually doing healthcare, and we are like we know we are like y'all know that we do we change lives like i've changed lives doing what i'm passionate about which is massage which is body work which is being in the spa industry that helps people relax that helps people recover there's just so many different things i've met massage therapists uh they specialize in pain management or they specialize in um, anxiety release, or there's just so many things out there and you can create your own, you can create your own lane and be in that lane and succeed in that lane. So yeah, I just, I, this, I, yeah, <laughs> I might be rambling at this point, but I do want y'all to think bigger. I do want us to uplift each other in this community. 
I do want us to help each other out. I think that we need to command more respect. And one of the ways that we do that is by making sure that we're getting paid well for our time because we are doing such a huge energy exchange, such a huge energy exchange that I feel like we need to be able to be paid for that and to be able to pay our bills at the end of the day. So that's another thing I want you to think about. Again, this is a huge industry and it's growing. It's going up every single year. This is a billion dollar industry. If you want to be a body contourist, if you want to be, if you want to do wood therapy, if you want to be a massage therapist, if you want to be an esthetician, if you want to specialize in something like that's outside of the box, I, I really like give yourself permission to do that. You don't need my permission. You don't need my permission to do that at all. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so just wanted to put this out there. Definitely leave a comment down below if this was helpful, if this resonated with you because this was on my heart to talk about and i will see y'all in the next video bye